uh, I believe, in the spirit of, uh, of the founders when they suggested in crafting this country that we would be a nation that tolerated other people, different faiths, that we'd be a place of, of religious diversity. And um, uh, in that respect, uh, they embodied in the Constitution itself. And I would call upon uh, Governor Perry to repudiate the, the sentiment and the remarks made by that pastor. We are joined now by Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah, who is also a Mormon. He is a ranking member on the Senate Finance Committee. And Senator Hatch, thank you for being here with us this morning. Always good to see you, sir. Uh, nice to be with you. Curious what your reaction is to this whole back and forth between Pastor Jeffress uh, from the Perry campaign and what Mitt Romney had to say about it. Well, to be honest with you, the name of the church is not Mormon. It's the Church of Jesus Christ. Latter-day Saints, Mormons are fervent believers in Jesus Christ. He's our personal savior. We, uh, and yet we're some of the biggest supporters of Israel and moderate Arabs, uh, you know, Islamic people in the world today. Uh, we have a real breadth of, uh, of uh, love for everybody. And I have to say that uh, it's pretty hard for anybody with brains to say that the Mormon church is not, that, as, uh, that's our nickname, is not, uh, that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is not a believer in Jesus Christ. Yeah, but well. uh, the minister's a nice man. I have no doubt that uh, he believes what he's saying. I just think that uh, Bill Bennett summed it all up very well the other day. Let me ask you this, you know, because I recently had thought about the fact that the first time Mitt Romney ran, there was a lot of discussion about this. It was on the cover of right. magazines, and I thought, well, have we, you know, moved beyond that as a nation, and is it, you know, a positive sign that this really has not come up in the whole discussion about Mitt Romney? Why do you think it has resurfaced now? Well, I don't know, and I frankly, uh wish it hadn't because it's 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 not right you know the constitution in article six says that uh, there should be no religious test for office and i think uh, good christians uh, and we're all christians uh, and uh, people of other faith ought to acknowledge that and realize that uh, hey we should pick people based upon their ability to do the job as president not on whether they're supportive of one religion or another uh, but it's awfully good to pick people who like mitt romney have a a tremendously value, valuable and decent life who literally lives uh, his, his religion and who, uh, who you don't have to worry about scandal with Mitt Romney or his wife or his family. I know the boys as well and they're just all super people. So I think we ought to judge people on what they can do for our country and not necessarily and what understood. their personal beliefs are. And we should point out that Rick Perry's son this morning uh, came out and said that he believes that uh, Mormonism or the Church of the Latter-day Saints is not a cult. Uh, so we'll see if, if that suffices, uh, you know, in terms of uh, well, rectifying that statement. Um, well, I, I, pr I appreciate both uh, Rick Perry and his son uh, saying that because uh, it, it certainly is not a cult. It's the fourth largest church in, in, in America today. And, uh, and like I say, the name of the church is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And there's a reason for that name because we're fervent believers in Christ. Well, we're happy that you're with us this morning to, to sort of give your thoughts on that because you're such a prominent uh, person within that faith. And we thank you for your thoughts on it. I, I do want to move on to the jobs bill, though, sure. uh, which did not even make it past the procedural uh, 